Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. As you'll all know, we finished playing the Resident Evil Remake Let's Play yesterday, just in time for this series, the Resident Evil 2 Remake. I'm so excited about this. I have had a little go, well, a bit more than a little go. The game come this morning and I've been playing as Leon Kennedy, which I think most people probably did. Got fairly far, got to about the sewers, as you can see on the continue screen. So, I thought for this series, I'm going to start from scratch with Claire Redfield. So, I'm going in a little bit blind. I'm just going on standard gameplay. So, yeah, I don't know anything about Claire's uh, playthrough. I've not seen anything at all. I've only played the Leon one and got about halfway through and I thought, right, I'm going to start my Let's Play now. I hope you're all doing really well. Right, I'll let this Let's uh, put scene play. Tell us a story, tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. It was appetizing. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You got to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looks like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink their teeth in the I saw that somebody. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. Yeah. Keep your eyes on the road, buddy. This is the uh, truck driver from the original game, if you can remember. They've added a lot more detail to the pussy. It's brilliant. I need some sleep. Oh, watch out! Oh shit! Graphics are absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. What do I do? What am I gonna do? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look out behind you, buddy. Here she is, Miss Redfield. I love the leather jacket. Obviously a massive yeah. change in her outfit compared to in the first game. Me, I'll be fine. Sounds good. I'll be back as soon as I find Chris. I will, but I gotta go. Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? Oh. What the? Now, the reason I decided to play with Claire in the Let's Play series and Leon on the main game is because I thought most people do tend to play as Leon, and I, I'm guessing a lot of people would have played as Leon instead, so I wanted to do differently and play as Claire. I do really like Claire Redfield. I don't really have a favourite out of these two characters. I absolutely love them both. Let's see if we can get in. Hello? The Leon playthrough so far though has been absolutely brilliant. I'll probably do a Leon playthrough afterwards. Oh, torch comes in handy a lot in this game, I've found. Hello? Oh. Let's investigate the store. Are you okay? Wait right, here. Okay. I'll check it out. So far, the intro is the same as the Leon bit. I thought it'd be slightly different, but. Excuse me, is everything okay? Uh, stay back, man. I got this. I don't think you have got this, mate. Ooh. <laughs>
Why is Claire carrying a gun? I want to know. She's just a college student. Damn. It's quite hard to aim. I've noticed the recoil that you get. Is he dead? They, they, you think they're dead a lot and they did not stay down. The game is creepy as hell. Absolutely loving it. You're going to see me jump and crap myself quite a lot. I've been doing it all day. Right, we've got the key. Oh, yeah, he's back up. Let's just leave him. We don't want to waste any more ammo than we have to. I love the little noise your PS4 controller makes as well when you open the doors out the speakers. Oh, God. Whoa. Like come on, Claire. Come on, come on. Yeah, I really enjoyed the Resident Evil 1 series that I did. and I know a lot of you awesome people enjoyed it as well, which made it even better. But I'm hoping don't you'll enjoy you. this one too. Get down! I love how they that little scene in. Obviously, it's very different to the original game where it happens in like a diner or whatever in the middle of the sitter. But it's still, I love how they kept the lines don't shoot and Claire ducks and Leon saves her. Absolutely right. brilliant. Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Holy shit. That's a lot of zombies. <laughs> Leon in his cash clothes. Missing the nose. Get in! Come on, come on. Hold on. Go, go, go. As those of you will know, we watch the uh, channel regularly. I try to aim for 15 to 20 minutes for episodes, but as this is the first episode, it's normally a little bit longer in my series, so it might be a bit longer because of all the cutscenes you normally get at the start of the game. I don't know. Hopefully, they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. <clears throat> Welcome to Raccoon City. Home of Umbrella. Oh, I love this. Yeah, the original game is my all-time favourite game, Resident Evil 2. Uh, I've played it so many times I've lost count. I absolutely love the game. I know it like the back of my hand, the A scenario, the B scenario for both characters, the last survivor, or the fourth survivor. Oh, I love the game so much. I've been waiting for this. I've been so excited about this coming out. It's been, what, 16, 17 years since the Resident Evil 1 remake came out, and I've wanted a Resident Evil 2 remake ever since. Pre-ordered it months ago, unfortunately missed out on the collector's edition, because I ummed and awed too much about whether or not I wanted to pay the amount of money it was, which, in my opinion, was too much, but in the end I caved and tried to get it, but they sold out instantly where I live, so I missed out, unfortunately. But I did get the Steelbook version at least, which is still really nice and cool, and you get all the costumes and stuff with it, so it's not too bad. Here we go. God, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. There's plenty out there. Like Jill Valentine. I really hope they do a Resident Evil 3 Nemesis remake after, after this one. This game's definitely going to sell well. I know everyone who's a fan of the original is going to buy this, I imagine. So I'd imagine like we will have a Resident Evil 3 remake on the way. I really hope so. Can't imagine what it'd be like having Nemesis and these graphics and gameplay chasing you around. It'd be absolutely right. terrifying. Yeah, good call. Oh. I knew that was going to happen and it still made me jump. Oh god, come on guys. The lorry's coming, you best get out. Get out. Get out now! Go, go, go! 
looking forward to seeing if this part's different at the beginning. Advanced and graphical than the original cutscene, that's for sure. Uh oh. That's never good. I know a lot of people didn't like Claire's new design, but to be fair, I think it looks brilliant. It's more fitting, it's more realistic than the short biker shorts and vest thing that had originally. I think the design looks brilliant for a person there. And Leon, I think they both look brilliant. Right, let's see what this bit's going to be like for Claire. Claire! Claire, are you okay? Yeah! I'm alright! How about you? I can't get over how quick this game looks. I can't stay here! It's not safe! Oh, shit. Cool, cool. Go on ahead! A lot of zombies, Claire. Come on, turn around, let's go. Don't even waste any ammo, let's just get out of here. Can't stop. Gotta keep moving. Alright, uh, it's side street by the looks of it. It's like the end of the world. Come on, Claire, go, 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 go. The there we go, it's the RPD. There. Let's get there. Uh, better off going around this way. Your ammo goes so quick in this game. I can't believe how much I found myself with no ammo playing as Leon. It was absolutely ridiculous. Come on, Claire, go, go, quick, quick, quick. Disappointed you didn't get to see a bit more of the city at the beginning, though, to be honest. I would have liked to have seen a bit more, rather than just getting straight to the police station like that. Maybe later in the game we'll get to see a bit more. Who knows? I don't think there's anything out here, really. Come on then, Claire, let's get inside. Explore your surroundings. I love how they've even got the old style computers, like being back in the 90s. Chris, where are you? It looks like the beginning's exactly the same so far, though. Oh, shit. They're inside too. David, What's the done A and B scenarios again? I don't think they have. It's in here. Shoot it properly, mate. Come on. You're just asking for trouble. Right, that's where we've got to go. I should help this guy. Right, let's just. Dis oh, discard that key. We do not need that key. Anything else laying about that's useful? Got the good old sight rider. Right. Oh, first aid spray. Take that just just in case. We've actually got a little revolver. That's pretty cool. Only holds five rounds though, which is a bit disappointing. Gonna have to crawl under. Keep out. <laughs> Oh god, I love how dark and graphic and gory this game is. It's got such a terrifying atmosphere. I'm very impressed with the game so far. Oh, just look how scary it is. I need a fuse for that. Focus, Claire. Yeah, Claire, focus. focus. Any ammo or anything in here for us? Let's turn the lights on. The body, has he got out on it? Brilliant, some handgun ammo. Anything behind it? No? New? No, nothing really. At least we've got a bit more ammo though. The ammo is more sparse than in the original. Right. Come on Claire, get that locker moved. Show us your muscles, gal. 
There we go. I absolutely love her leather jacket. Women's box have we got out in here. I did avoid the demo like the plague. I know the uh, the half an hour demo that you got. I was trying to avoid anything because if I'd have played the demo, it would have been unbearable for me to wait for the game. So I decided to just completely ignore it, keep away from it, not watch anyone play it because I wanted to experience it fully, oh, properly for the, for, the, for the first time. Doors are locked. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Where's that? Open this goddamn door! Through here. Through here. I'm, I'm coming, buddy, I'm coming! Go on, Claire. Come on, crawl in there. Come on, you can do it. Oh, oh, that was painful. Nah, it's too late, Claire. Nasty. I'll tell him. Don't worry. Oh, hoo -hoo. I've seen how it's censored in the Japanese version, where his body just comes through instead. <laughs> Look at that! What a mess! Right, yeah, it's for the uh, the medals in the main hall. This free now, rather than just the unicorn me medal. Oh! The barge through, Claire. Oh, nice shot there. Come on, let's get out of here as quickly as we can. Get past all these zombies. We don't want to waste more ammo than we have to. Which way was it? This way. I think you really lose your track of where you're going. What the fuck? Oh, crap. Five bullets is not enough. Oh, but it takes so long for her to reload. They've left an opening. Oh, shit. Get off, get off, get off. I don't think you can actually get them off you once they grab you. Oh, that was lucky. Am I going the right way? You get turned around so easily and lose track. At least that didn't... No, we're still in fine health, so at least it didn't do too much damage. Let's get out of here. Come on, Claire. Go, go, go. Come on, Claire. Quicker. Oh, I love how the light burns through there. Whoa. Oh, you all right. Yeah. It's good old Marvin. It's you great see. to see him get some more lines. For now. He well, doesn't look like Will Smith as much as he used to in the original, though. <laughs> Thanks. Obviously, someone taught you well. Yeah, I know how to take care of myself. Come on. <sighs> <clears throat> So nobody knows what caused this? I do. There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, on me. Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Ah, oh, Claire's got radio. Find Chris, we're out of here. You really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think, left weeks ago. Vacation? Huh. <laughs> nice of him to tell his family, why not? Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. <gasps> hey. Hey, we should probably get you to a hospital. Oh, oh, forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're going to need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. So you can see He's not brother. so abrupt with Claire like he was with uh, Leon. No. You'll probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're gonna. Shh. Knives are nowhere near very useful at all. <laughs> They're probably less useful than they were in the original no who Resident were, Evil. Can't hesitate. Take them out if you can, or you run. 
There we go, we've got the combat knife. Right. There you go. Poor head of zombie. Right, I'm sure there's a medal that we can actually get in this room, guy, if we, if we go up here. Here's the first one. So let's solve this little puzzle. Uh, it's the one with a lion on, so we want a lion's head, an arrow, it looks like, and a bird. So, lion's head. That. Oh, is it a leaf arrow? I don't know. And a, it was a bird, weren't it? There we go. That gives us our first medallion. So let's put that one in place. Two more to find in this hellhole. There we go. Opens up by one bit. I love how the people don't know this is here. The cops have been working here god knows how many years. Right, let's get this open. Let's get going through here. Oh, we get some more ammo over there. Perfect. You need a lot of it. You go through it like... Oh, you go through it like water. It's ridiculous. Anything else in here? No. You don't see the famous liquor go past this window anymore, which I was, I was expecting to see it, but you... Never mind. It keeps the suspense going by attacking you at a different time. Oh. Got any ammo? That looks like a nasty wound. Oh, God. Ah. Who's there? Oh. <laughs> Nearly didn't see him up there. Hanging about. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. I don't remember that happening last time. Right. Oh, here's the old famous corridor from the original where the arms come through the windows. You can actually board windows up as well on this one, guys, to stop stuff breaking through. Oh shit, it's on the other window. Get straight in here. Any ammo line up? Oh, record of events. September 25th, we're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th, one of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injured him, injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th, a mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it will be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th, there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1pm. Twelve people died, and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here. Right, have we got any ammo in here? We got anything in? Yes, some handgun ammo there. Take that. We can't actually go around the corridor. We've got a. Oh, what we got here? Is that a map. Awesome. It's a map of the first floor. The police station's a lot bigger now. Actually has some toilets finally, which was always a uh, thing I used to wonder play in the original. How come there's no bathrooms in the whole police station? God, he's a big zombie. Is he a zombie? Oh, they're down. Oh, awesome. More handgun ammo. Finding quite a lot of ammo. Not that it lasts long. Right, have we got a... Oh... Where are we? I want to go left here, so I'm just going to try and ignore that guy. For now. Let's take the green herb. And let's take this board and... We'll board that window up right here to stop that guy getting through. Just covers us a bit more. We don't want any more zombies than the ones that are already down here. 
the dark room is still in the same location as it was originally. Here we are. Let's see what we've got in here. Medicine, a benefit of herbs. Well, we don't need to read that. Herbs work the same way as they always have. Is that all that we've got in here? Oh, some lockers to open. What have we got? Gunpowder. I'm so glad to see the return of gunpowder, like in the uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. It's just really cool to have it back. We'll put that in here for now until we get some more to mix with it. We'll put one of those away. We'll keep the green herb on us for now, just in case we find a red herb. Right, about, coming up to about 26 minutes. Do I do a bit more, or shall we end this episode? Okay, let's see if I can get in that other room around here yet. I can't remember if I can get in it now or not. Yeah, we can get in. Right. We can only get in the ones that don't have two and three on for now. So, 106, we can get in there. There's two keys missing, as you can see. Number two and three. So, we've got to find some replacement keys. 106. Looks like a film by the looks of it. Let's have a look. Oh. Come on then, Claire. Open it. Yeah, it's a film. What have we got in 109? Oh, awesome. Some more handgun ammo. So let's get that open. I would check them all, which we could get, and then type them in afterwards, but my brain is like a sif, and I'll forget. That's just telling us that we need two spare keys, which are hidden in annoying places. Can't get in 202 yet. What have we got there? 208. So we can't get in there yet. Oh, wow. What have we got in there? Oh, is that grenade launcher rounds? Oh, yeah, because you get the shotgun as Leon. It looks like we're going to get the grenade launcher instead, look. There's Claire. The grenade launcher was awesome in the first game. With Claire. In the original. There we go. Lots of hang on our crap. Let's leave you bodies up. Come on. Can we get him through the hole? Yes. But at least we can't miss his head by shooting him through there. Would have been a weak shot if we did. Is that another one following me? Oh, God. Oh, that was lucky. I didn't think he was that close. Run, Claire. Run, 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 run. Missing an arm. He's got an arm off. Shaun of the Dead reference there. I'm guessing everyone's seen Shaun of the Dead. It's an amazing film. If you haven't, you need to see it. It's such a, it's like a horror com, or whatever you call it. Oh God, he's a big boy. You asshole. He's been chowing down on too many little coppers. Headshot. Nice, Claire. Just clear this hallway out a bit before we come back down. I don't know if he's dead or not. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt and we'll leave him there. I'm going to end this episode here as it has dragged on a bit. I don't want to do it too long, guys. I do apologise. I'll be a bit shorter in future. I'm going to record another episode straight after. Try and get these up the same as with the Resident Evil 1 um, series that I made where I did about two, three a week. Hopefully you guys all enjoy this. And if you enjoyed the first one, I'm sure that you'll enjoy this one as well. And any newcomers, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, guys, if you enjoyed, and maybe subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 2.